Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now in today's video it's going to be something a little bit different probably you weren't really expecting. We are essentially going to be seeing how Algeria's team could look in 2030. So um, basically I'm on Football Manager 2022 here. It's a, it's a football management game. It's very very good by the way. Um, and as you can see, we're on the staff section of the page, and what we're going to be doing is looking at Algeria's latest 23-man squad and seeing what the uh, the team looks like in 2030, which is eight years away. You can see the date is January 2030. So, of course, these are the staff. Um, not that interesting, the staff. The manager is is me. Uh, assistants are Mansouri, Romano, and Bouguera. And um, Jamal Ben Lamring managing the B team and uh, Hajj Bugesh managing the under 23. So that's the staff. So I'm now going to take you to have a look at what the Algeria squad looks like in 2030. This could be very, very interesting. I've, I've simulated the game. So, like, I haven't managed last time. It's not like last time when I managed Algeria. I've done a full simulation. So, we're going to see what the game does in terms of what Algeria's 23-man squad looks like in 2030. But here we go, I'm nervous, and Algeria in 2030 are looking like this. Oh my god, uh, to be fair, there's, there's some familiar faces. Now what I will tell you is, guys, all 23 players here, they're real footballers. They're all real. It's not like, you know, regens or anything like that. They're all real, so this could actually happen. All these guys exist in real life no matter how old they are. So let's dive in to, uh, and you can see their clubs as well, let's dive into what Algeria looked like in 2030. So you can see here that the three goalkeepers are completely different. We've got Abdel Mumensi Four, who plays for Yusma. Um, we've got Teddy Burhandi, who is in the uh, the lower French leagues now. Of course, I think he's at Nice right now. Of course, you know about Burhandi, he's been linked. And there's Luka Zidane. So according to this, Luka Zidane will play for Algeria. Is he still at Vallecano? Has he been at Vallecano this whole time? Wow, so... Of course, look at these guys, 31, 28 and 31 at this point. Of course, the goalkeepers can be a little bit older. So three completely different goalkeepers to now. C4, who's at um, Yusma, Burhendi, who's now in the lower leagues in France, and Luka Zidane, who's at Vallecano. So Luka Zidane did end up taking an Algeria call-up. Of course, he's been linked in real life, and we do need the new goalkeeper quite soon in real life. Um, but we have got Luka Zidane now. So if we look at what he's done in his career, he's literally stayed at Vallecano the whole time. They've been like up and down and up and down from La Liga, so that's wow. Okay, so Lucas Zidane has come in from Vallecano. We've got Bulhendi, of course, in the uh, the French divisions. And we've got C4, again, who I think has been at Yusma his whole career as well. So interesting three goalkeepers there. I assume Lucas Zidane would be like the, the sort of the number one uh, at this point. But anyway, so that's interesting. There's not too many surprises there. I mean, Zidane's been linked, but Hendy is, is wanting to play for Algeria's youth teams and Sifor is from the, the Algerian league. So that's the goalkeepers. And then defensively, you've got Rida Halemia, who we know all about at right back. Still, is he still in Belgium or whatever? We've got two guy who won the Arab Cup, 29 years of age in 2030, still in Tunisia. This guy's interesting, Yassine Dahmani. Now, at the, on the game, he's, he's only 25. He's really young. And he's at Brentford in 2030. Now, Yassine Dahmani is uh, is a young Algerian central defender. Who uh, so where is he now then? So of course at the game now he's in Brentford. So he's come. He's in Marseille's second team at the moment in real life. He's in Marseille's B team if you like. Then he goes to Toulouse. Then he goes to Ajax. And then Brentford pay uh, 10 million pounds for him. So this is a player we should be looking at. Yassine Dahmani. I don't know if anyone's heard of him, but he's currently in the Marseille ranks. That's interesting. So we've got Dahmani there. We've got Yusuf Atal, 33 years of age, now playing for Genoa. Yusuf Atal, he must have like over 100 caps or whatever. So Yusuf Atal is predicted to still be in the squad. We've got Yunus Ait Amer. Now, this guy, I think, played in the under-20 championship when Algeria, I think, lost the final to Saudi Arabia or something. I think he was in Bayern Munich's, like, youth setup at the time. It looks like he's still in Germany. He's still young, of course, 26. Can play anywhere on that right-hand side whether it be right back or on the right wing. So, of course, he was at Bayern at that tournament, Bayern's B team. Then he's gone to Duisburg in the German third division and just been there his whole career. So, looks like Yunus Eit Amer 
has committed to Algeria in 2030. We've got Samuel Guijo, 36-year-old Samuel Guijo. Wow. Now, of course, this guy apparently refused Algeria in real life, but Guijo is playing for Algeria on this game. So Guijo's in the Algeria squad. We've got Abdel Medioub. Again, I think he's been called up a couple of times. He's in the squad. We've got Tuba, who's now 31. We know what Tuba can do. He's in the squad. And we've got Yanis Hamash, 30 years old, another player who's been linked to Algeria in the real world, uh, still at Boa Vista. Looks a very good player, and he's declared for Algeria on the game as well, replacing the likes of, of Ben Sabani and Thares. So Yanis Hamash is in there. Again, so in terms of the defence, you've got Aitam Mehr, well, he's a winger really, and you've got Dahmani, and then you've kind of got players you know. You've got like Atal, Gijo, Medioub, Tuba, Hamash, Dahmani, two guys. So it's, it's, it's really, really interesting. Right, moving on to the midfield, and we've got Hussam Mrazig, who played in the Arab Cup, didn't he? I think he played in midfield, in central midfield, when Algeria won the Arab Cup. 29 years of age, still at CRB. I can't believe Mrazig. I mean, he's done well to get in the Algerian main team now, but how has he not got a big move? So he's still at CRB. You've got Badawi at Nice. You've got Zaruki. You kind of expect these centre bids, because look, Mrazig, Badawi, Zaruki, Benassa, Zorgan, who's gone back to Steph after all that hope and potential. Ismail Benassa now playing for Manchester City. 32-year-old uh, Benassa, probably still very good. He's, a, he's on 140 grand a week at Man City. Uh, went to Man City in 2028. Spent a long time at AC Milan. So, of course, you expect him to still be in the midfield. And Zorgan as well. So those are the sorts of the, the central midfield options. And then in terms of the attack, like... Obviously, Mahrez and, and Ben Rama and all those players are going to be gone by 2030. So we've got Mehdi Zorkan, who's at Watford. We've got Mehdi Larice at Sampdoria. Now, Larice hasn't declared for Algeria in real life. I think he's half Italian or something. 31 years of age, Mehdi Larice. He plays for Sampdoria. He's currently at Sampdoria in real life. So, again, he's a player we could look to try and get. Mehdi Larice is involved. Then we've got uh, Adam Unes, who's at Lyon at 33 years of age. Ilan Kebal. He's been called up by Algeria before, but not actually made his, his debut. And um, the attacking options aren't that great, if I'm being totally honest. Like, we need, we need some new talents to come through. Uh, Mohamed Amora, still in Switzerland at 29 years of age. He's now Algeria's main striker. Mohamed Amora, of course, went to the AFCON, didn't play. Still at Lugano. Uh, what, I mean, look, he's, he's gone to Switzerland. He hasn't exactly set the world on fire with his, with his form. That's probably why he's still in in Switzerland. So Mohamed Amora, Algeria's main man in 2030. And uh, the other striker we seem to have here is Mohamed Belkhaya. Now this guy's playing in Qatar. He's like the new Buna Jahrili if he's playing in Qatar. Look, he's already 31. This guy, where is he now? Is he in Portugal? Is he at, He's in the Portuguese second league at Villa Franquense. He was at Inter, Brescia, Torino. Played in Portugal for a bit. Played, actually got 10 goals in a season in the, the Portuguese league at Flamengo. Recently gone to Qatar on a three. So, this is the 23 latest 23-man squad for Algeria uh, in 2030. So, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. Is this how you expect Algeria's team to look in 2030? Or are you expecting big differences? So, this is what the game has predicted. Right, so if you lined up the team, it would look something like this. So, you have like Zidane in goal. And then Hamash at left back. Atal still playing right back. Gijo is 36 with Tuba. Although, I'd like to think Dahmani would come in for him. Zaruki and Badawi in the middle. Again, of course, you could put Banassa in there as well. Easily Banassa in. And then the front four is Rakane, Kebal, Larice, and Amora. And then you look at the bench, like I say, you've got Teddy Bodhendi, Yassin Dahmani, Zorgan, Banassa, Tugai, Halimiya, Mediub, Sifu, Aitameh, Mrazig, Unas, and Belkhir. So that is how Algeria look in 2030. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of what you think of Algeria in 2030. Are you worried about the future or does this actually make you quite excited? But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time.